Hello Aquarius and welcome to Blunt Saji Tarot. My name is Robin and Aquarius today we're going to do a general love reading baby. Let's talk about you. Let's see what's going on with the Aquarius Collective. Let's come down to business. Whoa Nelly. Okay we're getting a little bit of a oracle. Okay we've got some addictions here. Codependency. We have obsession. Controlling. We have the sword and the rose. Clarity. Truth. Revelation. Protection and power. We have mirror. You're mirroring each other, relationship, wounds, and introspection. We have clock. These two cards came up for Sagittarius. Give me a little Sagittarius here, Aquarius. We have mirror and the clock. So we got healing. We got progress. All right, let's see what's going on. There could be some obsession. There could be addictions. There just could be restraints and holdbacks. Let's talk about it. Let's see what's going on. This could be, could be someone feeling possessive of you, or maybe you're feeling possessive of someone else. Let's see. So let's talk about it, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on. We'll start with the devil. Okay, there's definitely some unhealthy elements here in this connection. Uh, the devil and the four swords caused you to pull back here, Aquarius. Okay. And Aquarius, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings. If you'd like one, the link is in the description box below. Yeah, we got the seven of wands. We got the hanged man in reverse. Okay. Two more, four. Yeah, there's the crossroads. There's the queen of wands. Could be the fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. Okay. There's the King of Swords. There's you. Or you could be dealing with another Earth sign. Or Earth sign. That was weird that I said that. Air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's the Three of Cups. Okay. And there's the Ten of Cups in reverse. Disappointed. And there's judgment. Could be an apology. Let's find out what's going on or resurrection. We got the devil. So we're going to start with this devil. There's definitely an unhealthy, whether it's lust or obsession or possession or addictions. There's definitely something that's caused you, Aqua, to pull your energy back here. What's the devil energy? Whoa. They kept it a secret. They didn't tell you. Oh, okay. Secrets come out here. Ah, they've been, okay. They've been hide. Ooh, okay. Golly gee. There's a ten of, there's the, okay. So the Empress, the Five of Pentacles, and the Sun. This Knight of Wands, you definitely could be dealing with the Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. There's Cancer, Pisces. It's Taurus, Virgo. It's Leo and Aries energy for me as a reader. So, um, Aquarius, they kept something to, they kept this a secret. So they could have been like a closet drunk or a closet, you know, something in the closet here that they didn't put forth. You didn't know. Um, it was definitely hidden from you and it's out in the open now. I mean, it could be gambling and, and spending too much money, or the, you know, but there was a, a habit or a toxic element to this person and the truth came out here and you figured it out. Um, so you've learned about this person and you're not sure what to think. You pulled yourself back. I feel you're very guarded here with the seven of wands, um, and uncertain. So the hangman in reverse is an energy of murder. It's a sacrifice card, but it can be self-sabotage. So you're a little angry, a little defensive, a little guarded here, uncertain. So you found something out about them. It's come to light here. What's the hangman in reverse for Aquarius? There's you. Let's start. Wow. The Empress. Whoa. Same cards. Ooh. The three of swords. This really hurts. There's the page of wands. Finding this out, there's holding back. So I feel you're, so the, uh, okay. So what I feel Aquarius is, you know your value, you know your worth, and you're trying to figure out if this is good for you. So it's kind of an energy with this Knight of Wands where maybe you did know about this, but they were trying to act like they were cool. They were in control of it. That kind of energy, yeah, I can control my drinking, but then you catch them, you know, in the closet at nine o'clock in the morning, you know, hiding in there doing a little something they shouldn't be doing before work, right? So this is an energy of, um, you're wondering if this is worth your time. You know your value. You know your you know your value. You know your worth. Is this something you want to put up with? Um, I think you're holding back how disappointed you are. Um, obviously, if this person's dealing with addictions or unhealthy pattern, maybe they just gamble a lot, whatever it is, um, there's a reason. There's something within them that hasn't healed. So I feel like you're trying to be sensitive. You're trying to be understanding here. But I feel you're holding back the, the disappointment. Yeah, I do. You're, I, you're holding back a little bit on the disappointment and you're really not letting them know where you stand. You got the two of swords, which means you're at a crossroads here. Um, who's the queen of wands? What's the queen of wands energy here? Is this the person? Is what is the, What do you want to say about this queen of wands for Aquarius here? But they make you happy. Wow. But you don't know if this can work. And the fool. And the judgment. So it's kind of like an energy. Of, oh, and the tower and the nine of swords. It's kind of like an energy of aqua when it's good. It's fucking amazing. Um, but then they go into these benders or this unhealthy habit and you don't know if you can deal with this anymore, but you're happy with this person when they're not, you know, in that energy here and you don't, yeah, 
but you got to be honest there's the ace of pentacles so you're trying to decide if you want to continue forward with this person or if you want to move in a different direction you're at a crossroads aqua from what i can see but i do see there's a lot of love here um and you really care about this person so like i get this feeling in my heart like do you want to abandon them when they need you the most but at the same time you can't fix them so then so that's what i feel the the struggle is here okay Aquarius, let's grab some oracles. Let's see what they want to say. And uh, we'll get back to the tarot. Spirit guides, what does Aquarius need to surrender to when it comes to love, when it comes to the situation, to this person, to this decision? What does Aquarius need to surrender? Thank you. Wow. Resentments. Holding on to resentments only poisons you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward towards positive situations in your life. Okay. Okay. What's the caring connection here between Aqua and this person that they're dealing with? What's the caring connection? Well, that flew. Hold on a moment. Oh, I didn't go that far. So we're here. Okay, hold on. All right, what do we got? Embrace. Embrace what destiny has in store for you. Okay, some things are just out of our control. All right, well, let's grab the hidden truth, Aqua. If they could say something, anything, what would it be? What is the hidden truth? Talk to us. Why not? What's the hidden truth? Oh my God. I left you before you could leave me. Ooh, maybe they checked out here. But I'm so attracted to you. And just being near you is intoxicating. There's a three of cups. There very well could have been a separation or a blockage. I didn't really feel that, but could have been emotional, could have been physical. Um, all right. Well, let's get your potential outcome. Now, Aqua, when I say potential, there's always free will. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make here. And when I say outcome, let's see how you're doing in a month. Let's see how things progress. Let's see how things go. Let's talk about you, Aquarius. Let's talk about you. Well, well, well. We have the Empress and we have the Emperor in reverse. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. We got the Six of Pentacles. One more. <laughs> One more here for Aquarius. The devil, the two of wands, seven of pentacles, the king of wands. I feel your struggle, Aqua. Um, there's a six of cups. So the emperor's in reverse. Someone tell me that tells me that maybe the addictions are on the masculine end, or it's just something that's out of your control. You don't want to move forward. Um, I don't, I feel you don't, but I feel you do. Um, I think this is too much for you. I feel that, you know, it, it's their burden to bear. It's their problem. And it's something that they need to um, deal with. And what I see here is someone looking at the future thinking, is this what I want for the rest of my life? Um, is just half truth and half sold and there's benders. And, you know, is this really where I see my life going? Um, and what I see is no. I feel you actually letting this go. There's a nine of pentacles and you make the decision to let this go, Aqua. So it's not due to lack of love. And I feel very heavy in my heart. So this is a very difficult decision for you to make. But you got to follow your heart and you want a certain, you know, lifestyle, like for yourself. And if you guys just have different lifestyles, you just have different desires here and it's out of your control. Now, the emperor is in reverse. So this could have been uh, a controlling person because the emperor in reverse is something that's very controlling. Um, but I just kind of feel like it's out of your control. You've thought about it. There's nothing you can do. This person has to want to change and do it on their own. And I feel if they did, you would you would salvage this connection. But what I feel is it's too toxic. You don't want this in your future. You don't want to continue to deal with this. So Aquarius, I see you letting this go and I see you following your heart and having a fresh start and a new beginning here. And I don't think it's easy for you. So Aqua, that's what I have. That's what's up. That's what's going down in the Aquarius Collective. And that's what I see here in a month is, is letting this go and looking forward to a fresh start. So Aquarius, if you like your reading, if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. It does help my channel to grow. Thank you. I always appreciate your support, Aqua. I truly, truly do. Let's close this reading off with a yes or no question for Aquarius. Find your own answer. Okay, the cards have spoken. That's what I have, Aqua. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.